I'm Suzanne Wofford. I'm the Dean of Gallatin. It's a great pleasure to welcome you here to our second annual TEDx Senior Symposium. And um, I want to just, I uh, want to thank Emma Kaywin and Channing Kehoe, who did incredible work to monitor, pilot, inspire, direct, organize, and plan this event from as as long ago, Emma and Channing, I think as long ago as last spring, but definitely starting this fall. So let's give a round of applause to them. Congratulations. And thank you. Um, I want to, uh, uh, they asked me to say a word or two about the Gallatin concentration. And I want to say that I feel myself to be in a circumstance where the experts about what I'm speaking are in the audience, and the people, the person who's telling you about it is the least knowledgeable in the room. But nonetheless, I'll share my views, and I've encouraged Emma and Channing to feel comfortable to correct and add to the things that I have to say. What makes Gallatin such an unusual and complex and wonderful educational experience for our students is that they're asked to design their own course of study and to culminate it in a concentration that arrives at the moment of a rationale and a colloquium. And what's really special about these, these concentrations is while they often have a feature that might make it look sort of like a double or a triple major, they're really not that. They're really a very different kind of thing. They have an underlying conceptual uh, unity, or sometimes we might think of it as a problem that they're aimed at, where they're bringing knowledges from very disparate disciplines, sometimes crossing the boundaries between what we might think of as scholarship and the arts, or scholarship and practice, um, many times crossing the boundaries between multiple disciplinary communities and discursive communities. So the Gallatin concentration is, in, in a sense, a unique moment of a distillation of the new knowledge that that student has created by drawing together these different discursive ideas. And I think that one of the things that people felt um, was frustrating about Gallatin was that all of this work goes into the construction of the concentration and ultimately into the rationale and into the colloquium which is a essentially private event. It has three people and the student. Now, we could, of course, start suggesting that the colloquia could take place on a stage like this. That would be an interesting transformation, sort of um, what they do with the, in France with this kind of thing. But for the moment, it's a private event, not shared. So the sense was, where is that knowledge going? How could it be shared? How could it be brought more into the public forum? And of course, there are different public forums. There's YouTube, where this, the senior symposium has a presence from last year. Um, there's the possibility of different kinds of web publishing, which I think we should explore as a follow-up. But at least we wanted in our Gallatin community and in our NYU community to have had an opportunity for the sharing of those creative syntheses that make up the core and the heart and the excitement of a Gallatin education. So um, with that, I'm going to invite our organizers to come up to the stage. and. I think, I don't know which one of you is coming first. Thank them again. They have done a wonderful job. And as I said, please correct and add to my little vision of the concentration if there is any little touches we should add on. But here we have um, the 2010 Senior Symposium. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was wonderful. And welcome to the 2010 Second Annual Senior Symposium. We're really excited to have you all here. Uh, as Dean Wofford was sort of explaining, the colloquium and the concentration is often a mysterious thing. And hopefully, this will kind of give a little window into a few concentrations in a more uh, community-oriented way. Um, and so this year, we have eight speakers. And we try to deal with a breadth of, of different <coughs> things that people are interested in talking about. We have all sorts of different um, disciplines and interdisciplinary um, artistic and um, some economic stuff going on. And um, so we thought that this would be a really great forum for everyone to check out what people are doing in totally different parts of the school. Uh, we're also really excited that this is going to be a TEDx event again this year. Uh, TED is dedicated to ideas and word spreading and that's what we're about here also. Um, so hopefully Ready that you're doing further after this event. We're also live tweeting this event. I mean, uh -huh. this is, I don't really understand. But if you <laughs> want to participate, use the keyword hashtag TEDxGallatin, all caps, I don't know if that's relevant, in your tweet. You can follow these live 
tweets by searching the keyword hashtag TEDx Galveston also. Uh, and we will have questions and informal Q&A in the lobby after the event. So come talk to us. And then afterwards at 6 o'clock, there is the um, senior party back in here. So if you're a Galveston senior, you should come back for a champagne with the dean. Yay. Thank you. Thanks.